welcome back to the final part of my 3D platforming series. In this final video, we want to add fog. Now, fog's a really interesting mechanic because it allows the player to only see what's near them and not far away. So we might be able to see the blocks that are really close. The ones that are much further away, we have to actually explore and go towards them in order to see what's going on in that area. So first thing that we need to do is go to our layer. So this is layer zero, and we're going to add a new effect. Now, the effect that we want to add is called fog. So you can click on it. This is going to cover our level with this white fog. Now, we don't want white fog. Actually, the fog I recommend is actually taking what you want the background color to be of the level. So I'm going to take my current background level and just change these values to be 189, 242, and 255. So it matches my current background color. Then we want the density. And from playing around with my level, I think 2% is about right. And these numbers are going to be relatively small. And then the draw distance, so the distance at which the fog starts from the camera from where you can see. And play around with this number. I'm going to put mine to 20. So I'm going to hit play. And now you'll see that this block that's in front is actually quite hard to see. If I go to some of the blocks at the back here, I've got some down here. We don't really see them until we're near them. And then they light up. And then that fog I've just jumped from, or that block I've jumped from, is now covered in fog again. So now we've got this set up in our level, it becomes quite a pain because now we can't actually see our level unless we go into our settings and we turn the fog density back to zero. And we don't want to do this every single time we want to test our level. So once your fog is set up, it's going to be something that's just set up and you don't need to worry about it, but we need to remember to turn it back on. So instead, what we're going to do is have some code always turn that fog back on for us. So set it to 0% and then go to your event sheet. Inside your event sheet, we're going to add a brand new event. It's going to be system. Scroll down on start of layout. And then what we're going to do is take our system again. And when we've added effects before, it's always been attached to an object. Because it's attached to a layer, we need to actually find this line of code here, the set layer effects parameter. So what it's going to ask for is the layer number. And you'll see all your layers have a number on the right hand side. I'm going to get one layer and it's set to zero then the name of the effects, and this is the name just here. And just for ease, I've just copied and pasted that already. Then the parameter index. Now, this is just the number on the list of which the parameter you want to change. So the first one, which is the fog color, starts at zero, then one, then two. So we want to change index value one, the second item. So we're going to put one in this box. And if you're confused why we're starting from zero, it's very much a computer science thing to start from zero to get the most out of every bit possible in the computer. Then the value you want to set it to, and my fog density was set to two, so I'm gonna put two. This means now I've got my normal level set up. But when I hit play, the fog comes back in and it doesn't annoy me as I'm editing, but I still see it when I'm playing the game. So this is a really, really nice and simple mechanic that you can implement into your 3D game. And again, it just encourages players to explore the different parts of your level because they can't just look across the map and see what's over there. If you've enjoyed this 3D series, please drop a like and a subscribe and let me know what other series you want to see happening on the channel or whatever videos. Next week, I will start looking at creating Pokemon from scratch inside of Construct. So if that's something you're interested in too, make sure you're looking next week for the first video of that.